two, one. Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Synthetic Arena with me, Cornish Knight, and my fantastic co-host, the Fuax. Hey, hello all. And uh, we're going to have another smash at Synthetic Arena and try out one of the other referred um, playing modes suggested by our colleague, my colleague, the Fuax. So what are we playing today, the Fuax? So this one is called Crystal Crush. And essentially the idea for this one is that we're trying to collect crystals to turn to credits. And then we're saving up our, like, you know, our credits and all that stuff to buy turrets and try and hold out during a last stand. Interesting. Interesting. Right. So I'm going to quickly just switch over to this pistol because I find it a bit better than um, the one I was using, which was a burst fire one. Yep. So ready. I'm ready. All right. Let's do this. <clears throat> I remember when we first played Synthetic, you really did not like the Assassin. Yep. Yeah, it's okay, though. Crystals and turn them into... Turn them in at the teleporter. Prepare for the, la prepare for the last stand. Okay. Step on the teleporter to start. So yeah. we, don't, we don't need... So let's see what we got in the weapon shop. Anything in the weapon shop. Standard layout. You want to save up for the high precision rifle. The high-position particle rifle and the multi-purpose grenade launch, that'd be nice. We've got armor all down here, we've got... Upgrade my basic starting pistol. I take it you. I take it that's what you've done, you've updated your basic starting pistol, right? Um... I was using a basic one that I usually use for this character. Okay. I might just upgrade my drone a little bit. Make it slightly more effective. Oh, you mean for money and stuff? I'm actually saving up my money for a better weapon, so... Yeah, well, I just spent a couple of hundred credits, not too much, we'll make that back quite quickly. Right, so yeah, so... It's basically the layout of this game, there's like these circles where like, uh, I guess like the giant ooze boss will spawn, and we basically try and kill it to get crystals from it. <laughs> okay. And basically, they're like all over the place, these like spawn points, so... So it's just one ooze boss? We don't, like, are we, are we fighting multiple ooze bosses? Multiple, and, like, they're all stationary and don't fight back or anything, but they do spawn enemies to fight you when you attack them, so... Okay, yeah, I see. Good point, good idea. Radio. so let me just get in. Yeah, basically... There there's a crystal, and, yeah, basically you see the spawn oh, stuff. They, they really... By the way, stuff will basically fall on us every so often, so... Yeah, I was not ex This is a very different, um... Scenario type of on. thing. Yeah. I've, I've lost my, um... Where am I? This is... Oh. As usual, I've lost my location on the map. As always. By the way, there's green shotgunners for some reason spawning, and I just died for some reason. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I, sorry, I just completely lost my location. Well, this is already a good start. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, this is much harder than the other. I wouldn't say it's harder, it's just more chaotic at the moment. But I'm about to die. So. You get to watch me now, I guess. Yep. Hindsight, folks. Always stick with the full axe. If you say so. Ouch. Just these things constantly keep dropping on me. Yeah, basically there's um, crystals dropping on you. Yeah, but... It's... 
to really not, that, well, they, I don't know why they're doing it. I think it's the crystal, like, you know, bosses themselves doing it, but I'm not sure. Oh. Uh. I died again. How frustrating. I've got to say, man, this is a lot more frantic than the previous one was, the previous mode you played in this game was. Yeah, and that's saying something, because we had, you know... Yeah. It's been spawning everywhere. Turn the crystals in to get a payday. Probably good, yeah. Uh, we just turn them in, right? How do we turn them in? Um, I think it's bringing to a teleporter. Well, that's what I'm trying to do, but it's not letting me do it. You might have to get a certain amount. I'm, well, we... I have to have like a certain amount before you can turn them in. Uh, well, I, I, it said free, and we have free on the checklist, so. You know, something I'll know about this game, I think they have to, like, you know, work on, um, how, like, balance. you know, yeah, ba how about a balancing co-op? Like, I'll know it actually feels easier in single player, this game, sometimes. And that's fine, but it's almost, like, over overly um, easy compared to, like, how it is like, right now. I just died. Well, I am about to die as well, so... You respawned yet? Not yet, but I'm about to. Like a downtime to buy stuff. We might. I'm not really sure. Oops, I ran out of ammo. Every enemy on the planet is Alright, turning enemy. crystals, it says. And I'm dead. Uh oh. Uh. I would admit to Fuax, I'm not a massive fan of this particular game mode. Yeah, I have to say, it's a little bit harder than I expect it to be. Some ammo. I can't get this yet. Let's see here. Not enough money yet for my stuff. And you lose money every time you die, apparently. Well, that's not good. Yeah, because I was. I've lost money every time I've died. I'm, oh. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm not a fan of this game mode. No, I died again. I'll try and stay alive. Because I'm packing multiple curses now, and 
And there I go, too. Uh, Should we try again, or...? To be honest, I'm not a fan of this mode. Um, it's... I think it's really... like I don't know what it was like for you when you played it single-player, but I, believe, I think on co-op mode, it's just too... Hectic and... It's too overpowered because literally there's no downtime. You can't you can't buy upgrades. You can't buy weapons. You're always being attacked. Every time you die, you're losing credits. The enemies like literally, I was picking up something. I was picking up objects, and like I was having like ten enemies spawn on me on one in like on, in one location, and then getting like swarmed before I could get away because you can't really outpace the enemies in this game. Yep. So, so it was a bit, plus the fact that they were throwing a lot of elite troops like the Crystal People all at us straight off the bat, who are annoying to deal with. Oh well. <laughs> that was basically Crystal um, Crash. Yeah, gotta say I'm not a fan of it. I preferred the other one. I preferred Headhunter personally. Yep. Or even the um, original one, Core Defense, right? Yeah, Core Defense or Headhunter I think are the best. Crystal Crash, not a fan of it. Alright, well anyways, hope you guys enjoyed all. That was basically me and Quarish Knight basically playing that. Yep. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the description button. You can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Steam, and as always, I will leave a link in my comment section below to the Forax channel. I suggest you go and check his content out. He plays a lot of classical um, games. What kind of games are you playing at the moment, the Forax? Uh, right now, basically, I'm trying to look for recordings for um, an old game called Bioshock. Ah, the original Bioshock. The hate, like the, for those of you who don't know what Bioshock is, um, oh sorry, Bioshock. So I thought you meant System Shock, because um, System Shock was made by the same company, and it, it was like the predecessor to Bioshock. Mm. Basically, in Bioshock, it's a first-person shooter, but it's very interesting because it's actually one of like the most like you know story-driven, I guess we'll say in a way. It'll actually make you think, basically. Yeah, it is. Uh, I remember playing it when it came out. It's very, it's a very, it's a game that makes you question a lot of things about what you play in games. Um, the, well, System Shock did that as well. Um, they but are Bio Bioshock is a little stuff. bit more uh, golf cully about it, I guess I'll say. Yeah, steampunkish. So it has a very much steampunkish feel, while System Shock was sci-fi. Mm. They're remaking System Shock, by the way. Um, yep, they are. Yeah. Um, myself, as I have just finished playing uh, Zombitron, which is a very interesting little indie game that I suggest anybody who likes side-scrolling shooters pick pick up. Um, and I'm continuing to do um, Battle Brothers, and I'm looking at to do a, a Let's Play series for Bad North, which is basically a strategy-based. It, it's basically like it's a bit like a strategy game meets chess, which is you have units and you're trying to safeguard islands from um, with units. It's a it's a good little game. Um, <coughs> about it, folks. If you have liked, please press the like button. As always, subscribe because it both helps me and the Fuax a lot out. And I shall see you all again next time, folks. Take care, all. Bye.